Hey guys and welcome back to another UK Random video and today I have picked up another awesome bargain, hopefully, from B&M. Yes, I've picked up another gadget and as you may be aware, I do love my gadgets from B&M. I've picked up some random stuff over the last few years. This time, I've picked up something similar to what I've picked up from there before, but it's slightly different. It is the Vibes Smartphone Mini Projector. Now, I did pick up another mini projector. In fact, I picked up two. One was the Goodman's, which is an actual projector. The Vibes Smartphone Projector was pretty much just a box that you put the phone in and it magnifies it and throws it onto a white screen or wall. Um, it wasn't amazing, but it did the job. Now this is slightly different. Um, it's Well, it's a smartphone mini projector and it's got a remote control as well. But basically you actually link your phone to the projector. Um, I've got no idea what to expect. It was £29 from B&M. Um, what can I tell you about it? It projects up to two meters wide, apparently. Um, it's compatible with all smartphones. You've got about th mm, 30,000 hours of lamp life. Um, you connect to your smartphone. I don't know if it's via Bluetooth or, Bluetooth or if you need a cable. We're going to find that when I open it. Um, it's saying high quality video. Let's see. What's it say on the back? Control your projector from a distance um, with the included, oh, infrared remote control, okay. Uh, compatible with all smartphones using a charge and sync cable, which isn't supplied. So, okay, that's answered that question. Um, the specs are the resolutions 320 by 240, max resolution, um, 1920 by 1080 we'll see um the lamp is led the life is thirty thousand hours power consumption 10 watts power supply 5 volts 2.5 amp projection distance 0. 0.6 to 4 meters okay um projection size 30 centimeters by 200 centimeters Again, we will see. Uh, the weight, 216 grams. It's not heavy at all. I can feel from the box. Um, the speaker is 4 ohm, 2 watts. Headphone output. Okay, so it's got um, 3.5 mil audio output, which is good because it does have a speaker apparently built in. But I'm not sure what the quality on that is like. Um, Android app supported, iPhone no app required. Interesting. Let's get it open. Let's see what comes in the box and we will go from there. I don't have a clear wall in here. It, it is packed with figures and consoles and all sorts. So once I'm ready to set up, I'm going to go find somewhere where I have a nice white wall where it's dark, obviously. Right. Okay, there's not much in the box. You've got the unit itself. You've got the remote at the bottom. And there is the instructions. Um, yeah, I don't care about the instructions. Let's get the mini projector out so listen I can't see this being a great projector don't expect no cinema quality this is probably what you'd use maybe in your bedroom you're sitting on your phone at night you put this on bang against the wall you can actually enjoy whatever it is you're watching without having to hold the phone and lie there like so um, so yeah I'm not expecting anything super amazing. There's, okay, the power cable, which is USB to USB 3, uh, 3, USB-C. 
Um, and the remote is here. Don't know why I went so high with the camera. Um, caution, batteries. Ooh, right. So that's what's in the box. We don't need the box. Probably don't need the instructions, but I will leave them there. Um, right, can you put batteries in it? No. Right, so there's the lens. Um, on the side, I'm assuming this will be to focus, make it bigger or smaller. At the back, you've got the headphone jack. Next to it, you've got... Actually, what's that? I think that oh, that's the infrared eye. Um, you've got the USB-C. I was about to say three again. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Um, and then you've got a USB port there, which I'm not 100% sure what the USB port is for. But I'm sure we will find out. Right. So that's the power. That is... All right, so USB, sorry, I'm flipping, losing it. That would be where you plug in your mobile phone. Um, I'm going to find out if it has Bluetooth capability. On top, you've got a load of buttons as well. Um, so you've got a menu button, backwards, forwards, return, and OK. And in the middle, you have the power button. Um, this here on top is your speaker, which isn't going to be great, but in the bedroom, watching YouTube videos or, I don't know, TikTok videos, things on Instagram, whatever, that will probably do. But you can probably connect your headphones. Well, you can connect your headphones. So, yeah, let's, let's power this bad boy up and see what it's all about so as you can see the power light has come on i'm not sure what happens in it oh it has come alive ladies and gents okay Sorry, I'm uh, amusing myself right now. I've put it up towards the ceiling. And you know what? The lights are on, but it's clear. I can see exactly what it says. Right. Let me do that. Like I said, I'm going to find a clear white wall and you will get to see it. I just want to see right now how easy it is to connect to my phone and what it does. And then we will... And then we will try it out on a nice plain wall. So if I go to the... Uh, men, we're in the menu already. Wirecast. Oh, why is well, it's on settings. All right. So so far, what I'm finding is the remote control needs to be aimed at the unit itself. So we'll press OK. Connect the phone to the projector with the phone cable. Yep, done. Click trust in the phone's pop-up window. Android phones with the same screen need to install special software. Follow the prompts in the pop-up window. Right, so Elfcast screen mirror. It's already come up on my phone, so it picked it up straight away. Da, da, da. So we've got to download the file. Um, this should be straightforward. Fingers 
crossed. So the file downloaded pretty quickly. Let's install it. App installed. Let's open it up. Uh, allow Elfcast to access Elfcast screen mirror. Yep, always open Elf when. Da -da -da. Okay. Start recording or casting with. Yep. Right, so I've pretty much got it set up. I'm going to go find a nice white wall and we will see what this bad boy can do. I really hope it ain't disappointing. Stay tuned. There we have it now. I'm not sure how great the quality is going to be coming through this because it is dark in here. And I can see on the wall, it does look quite clear. We've got the menu page. So I'm going to connect the phone. Give me one sec. I'm going to go to Wirecast. And there. And there we go. It's up on screen. So what I'll probably do, I'll try using going on YouTube. And I'm going to change the orientation. Change the focus. They're brand new, but they were bloody cheap. I had to get them. To be honest, I don't even remember which ones they were. I remember they were blue. Let's get into it. Let's see what I got. So this package arrived from me. Arrived from me for me. Um, I got these from Sportfire. Right. So the sound at the moment is coming out of the phone. Uh, so I need to find the setting to change that. All right, there is a volume control, but I've got to figure out how to switch it now. Picture quality. Actually, let me turn off the other light as well. Right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I've tried this out. I'm not sure how well that came out on video. Um, listen, there's some pros and there are some cons. Um, a couple of the things I didn't like about it, the video quality isn't fantastic. Now, you have to bear in mind this was less than £30. So take that into account. Um... Like I mentioned earlier, this is probably good if you're going to have it in your bedroom to watch some TikTok, YouTube or Instagram videos. It'll probably be all right. Um, if you're expecting video quality, if you're going to watch a movie, if you're going to watch the football, I don't think this is that great. Um, another downside, I couldn't figure out how to use the built-in speaker. 
luckily the speaker quality on my phone is good anyway so that's not the end of the world um, and there's also the jack input and I've got loads of speakers I can plug into it again not the end of the world um, another downside before I go on to the positives is the cable is not long enough now I don't know who's got a house that's big enough for that to plug into a wall and this to go into the middle of the room somewhere you need a much longer cable than that that's barely a meter long this should have really been at least two meters but hey that's just me maybe my house is too big anyway um the quality is okay um the review i did on the vibe smartphone projector previously um the quality isn't fantastic but again it does the same sort of thing this is better than that one it's twice the price i'm pretty sure that one was 15 quid um this is more of a proper projector whereas that one literally just magnifies the image up to the wall um you've got to focus the further back you go the bigger the screen does get which is quite good um the quality was not bad it wasn't great do not be expecting no high definition quality to come out of this bad boy because it just isn't going to happen um what else is positive all right at, at the bottom of it oh let me undo this you do have that section there where you can screw it into a stand which comes in handy so i would have had it on there i've got higher ones as well i've loads of different sizes this was just the first one i picked up screws it in so it holds it in place and it don't move um so that that's a nice um nice touch also you can change the focus or it, not focus the focal orientation of it so if you've got it hanging upside down hanging from the ceiling um you can flip it round you can flip it that way um which is good you can adjust the brightness the sharpness and other bits and pieces it just takes some playing about um i don't know what to say listen I'm not going to say it's amazing because it isn't amazing, but it ain't crap either. Um, if you want something cheap and cheerful, this is it. I'd get it for my kid's sake and if he wanted to watch something on the phone, job done. Um, I wouldn't use it for anything else. I wouldn't use it for watching movies or anything. Yeah, if I'm going to watch the odd YouTube video... Um, I'd pro I could plug this in, happy days, watch that in the bedroom, we don't have a TV in there, I want one, I've got one I could put in there, the wife don't want a TV in the bedroom, whatever, it's not like we've got other stuff to do, but anyway, back to this, guys, for £29, this is not a bad, bad purchase, this could make a really cool Christmas gift, uh, for, a, on, for a secret Santa, stocking filler for the kids, I don't know. You know what? I've bought much worse things and I've enjoyed them. I think with a bit of playing about with this, this could actually be quite good. Like I said, not for for me personally. I wouldn't watch a movie using this or the football because the quality would be great. But I would watch um, unboxing videos on YouTube, um, stuff like that. It's just fine. Have you got one of these? Let me know what you thought of it. Um, if you've got any questions about this, feel free to ask because by the time I upload this, by the time you've got around to watching it, I probably would have used it more and I'll have a much better idea. As it stands, yeah, you know what? I'm not pissed off with the £30 I spent. This is going to come in handy. It is what it is. So, yeah, these are from B&M. There's B&M's all over the bloody country. Don't even ask me where they are. They're bloody everywhere. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We're going to see you soon for another video. Peace.